Tina Nelson is a successful elementary teacher, but her life didn't start off with a lot of success. In, in fact, it started off with a lot of hurt and a lot of pain. Thank you for joining us today, Tina. Mm -hmm. um, so at a young age, you were sexually abused. Yeah, until uh, I was three, until I was about 12. And um, nobody really knew. I never really shared it with anyone, and I kept it hidden. And I did let my parents know eventually, and it stopped. Did you, I mean, when you think about three years old, you know, you're, I have a four-year-old, so you think about playing with toys and having no cares about anything, just living life. How did that affect you as you grew up? You know, I had a, I have a real hard time trusting people, and I didn't realize that I didn't trust until I was older, like, and you know, even in, I, you know, I still struggle with trusting people, and I remember always wanting to escape. Did you ever feel like you had an outlet to share that with anybody? Uh, no, no, I, I never shared it with anyone because I was really ashamed. And so I, you know, I didn't, I thought if anyone knew they would think like something was wrong with me that I brought it upon myself. At 11 years old, you go to a Bible camp and you accepted Jesus into your life. How did that change things or did it change things? I just remember thinking, you know, I don't know what's going to change, you know, I really, but I, I felt something, like I felt something in my spirit awaken and that I did, you know, I was put here for a reason. It may, may have been like that small voice, but I knew that there was a reason that I was here. Was there ever a feeling of love? Did you ever feel loved? Yeah, I did. I, um, like I, me and my two brothers, we were uh, adopted into the same home. And my adopted parents, they adopted five um, kids. And so me and my two brothers were three of them. And uh, just being with my brothers and being in that home, like I'm really grateful to my parents for doing that. But even though you felt like you had a place and you had safety, there were suicidal thoughts that were going through your head. When was the first time that you attempted suicide? I think at 13 or 14. This girl I knew, like when I was young, she, she told me that she tried to kill herself. You know, I was looking for an answer to try to end the pain. I think I was going through a depression at that age. Like, I don't really know. I thought she took 100, I'll take 200. Uh -huh. And then that would be it, you know? And I ended up getting really sick. And I woke up around probably three in the morning and my heart was racing really fast and I thought like I was gonna die.